Well, uh, big win for you back in May, uh, but we haven't seen you since then. What's what's been going on in the time? What, what's been going on? And I'm so I'm so bummed out because during that fight in May, uh, uh, I actually tore tore you know a uh, piece of my shoulder. So I figured I could do some physical therapy and get back in there, work hard and and uh, you know maybe physical therapy. But that that didn't work out. And they found that I had a torn labrum, this and that. And I was in really good shape. I was getting ready for Japan. They, they wanted me on that card. I was supposed to fight a, a guy from Germany or whatever. And um, he was a southpaw, and I would do a lot of wrestling. And I, f I felt something was different, you know. Even though I was really in good shape and strong, I just felt like there was something off. And did MRI and everything. And then they found out, you know, that I had the... A torn labrum so they pulled me off that card and right away when I left for training camp they threw me into into surgery and went under the knife and um, I thought I'd be lucky enough to make it for this card but I'm here now and and this was one of my my goals to fight in Japan and as well as the USC fight night in Seoul but it didn't work out that way but I'm just blessed to be here and uh, I'm really looking forward to a, a, a even greater 2016. Um, but yeah, everything's healed. I got full range of motion, um, getting stronger, and, and I'm just healthy, blessed. Nice. Well, I was going to ask you if you got to enjoy some of that fifty thousand dollars, but I guess maybe not. You just it's, it, they, they just you have to put it in the bank and live off that for a little while. Or did you uh, did you spend any money on yourself, like a nice uh, looking suit, like you've got there? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I save I save a lot of that money, but uh, oh yeah, I have to, of course, me being fighter and and it's uh, it can be a struggle, you know. I got I got bills to pay and and I'm always investing in myself as well, whether it's like training camp and and whatnot. But um, I didn't go too crazy with uh, spending that 50k. I was, I'm being smart about that. I'm looking to invest into something for sure. I've never asked anybody this, but I, I feel like we're, we go back a little bit. You don't get a check that night. You got to get your drug test clear and all that stuff. So what happens? Just one day in the mail, a, a check comes in there, you open it up, and you're like, wow, that's a nice sum of money. Yeah, no, it's like you never know, you know what I mean? Like what, when you take drug tests, like I'm a clean athlete, but you just never know. Maybe I, what if I took uh, something that said it was legal or whatever for like maybe it was BCAAs or something, and it was like just pops up. I just kind of get paranoid, but uh, I've seen that all the drug tests were back and came clean. So uh, I didn't even I didn't even care about the money, to be honest. I mean, I just knew that that it would be coming, and and uh, I wasn't I wasn't too uh, desperate, you know. But I, I am I was definitely blessed to to win the performance of the night and have that money show up in the bank, and uh, it was a blessing for sure. I, I'm just happy, you know. And uh, I look forward to, because I go into every fight with the same mindset, you know. I want to not only finish my opponent, but win the performance of the night or, you know, the I mean, fight of the night. That's my fighting style. So for me, uh, I, I don't expect less. You know, I'm always, it's like, oh, hopefully the other guys, uh, hopefully the other guys fight suck because I want to win that fight. I want to win the fight of the night or whatever, you know what I mean? But. Uh, it was cool. It was fun. Nice. Uh, obviously, you, you mentioned wanting to fight some of the Asian events. Your, your heritage, uh, the USC, is, is kind of used you in that role. What do you see for 2016? I mean, is there a date circled on your calendar? Is there an opponent? What, what do you think should come next for you? Uh, for me, I feel like, like I said it before, like I, I had a lot of gauging in the in the first few fights. You know, I didn't come into the UFC. Um, I came into UFC as a top prospect in the world and. I knew the the talents I possessed, but I wasn't able to gauge it correctly like I wanted to. Maybe the style of the opponents just uh, didn't didn't allow me to be exciting, or whatever. You get injured in training, you know what I mean. You go in there, you're not always 100%. But I was lucky enough to show somewhat of what I am. And the last fight, that's that's just still something that that I have more to 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 offer, of course. And uh, maybe around two first part maybe February March you know roughly I mean that I, I wish I could go f sooner but you know what I mean we have to be smart you know 
for at the highest level. So uh, I just want to, if, if we got an Asian card in, in February, March, sign me up. Uh, I love I love to do it because it's closer to home. People can fly out. I mean, if I fought in Japan or, or if I fought uh, Saturday night, um, man, we'd have like thousands of people fly out from Guam just just to show because in the Manila card, we had a typhoon the day before the, or the same week of the fight. So many people from Guam didn't even get to come out because they had to deal with, with uh, typhoon problems in Guam and the Mariana Islands. So um, sign me up in Asia, man. I'm, I'm always up for it, you know.